Guanajuato is a beautiful city located in central Mexico, only four hours away from Mexico City and one and a half hours away from San Miguel de Allende. It's considered by many one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico and I totally agree. I've been here quite a few times and I feel like every time I come, I like it even more. Hello guys, my name is Israel and in today's video I am going to be showing you the beautiful city of Guanajuato. Guanajuato is known for its narrow alleys, its mommy museums, its beautiful architecture and it has very good food as well so if you are visiting central Mexico this is definitely a good option. So on this trip I was in León which is another city nearby and I decided to come to Guanajuato only for one day. This city is pretty small so you don't need that many days to visit it. I don't recommend only doing it for one day but if this is the case for you don't worry this city is not that big. I hope this video helps you out and I'm gonna highlight the best places that I think are worth visiting while you are there. So let's get started. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. So one of the first things I did when I got there is I had breakfast in this beautiful hotel which has a restaurant with a view to Jardín de la Unión and in here you will find one of the most well-known landmarks of Guanajuato which is called Teatro Juárez. It has a neoclassical style and it was built by Antonio Rivas Mercado which is the same guy that built the Ángel de la Independencia in Avenida Reforma in Mexico City. So I think this is the main square of the city, it will be like the Zócalo of Guanajuato. It's called Plaza de la Paz, also known as Plaza Mayor. And since the colonial period, the richest people of the city build their homes in this place. Also there's a lot of government buildings. And here you will find La Basílica Colegiata de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato, which is the main church of the city. It was built between 1671 and 1696. It has a baroque style and is one of the most well-known landmarks of the city. So one of the most interesting facts about Guanajuato and also one of the most charming things about it is that it has over 3,200 alleys. These alleys are very characteristic of Guanajuato and one of the most famous alleys is the Alley of the Keys, also known as El Callejón del Beso. This alley is only 68 centimeters wide or around 2 feet and it's said that if you come here with your partner or your wife or your girlfriend or anyone you're dating and you kiss them here you will have 7 years of happiness. Another place you might want to visit is La Universidad de Guanajuato which is almost 300 years old and it is next to a church that I found to be very beautiful. It's called Iglesia de la Compañía and it was built between 1747 and 1765. Another place I really liked it's this market right here, it's called Mercado Hidalgo and it was built in 1910 by Ernesto Brunel and he will find all kinds of souvenirs, fresh fruit, flowers and all kinds of Mexican typical food. So definitely a good place if you're a foodie. When you walk around Guanajuato you notice all this beautiful architecture and buildings and an interesting fact is that in 1988, the historic center of Guanajuato became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, now I'm going to show you one of my favorite restaurants in Guanajuato. I've been here quite a few times. I've been here with family, friends, 
and this time I came here by myself and every time I come I like to visit this restaurant it's so delicious it's called Casa Valades and it has a very nice view and the food is so so good So afterwards I headed to this bar that has a very nice view. This bar is located in the Hotel 1850 and after I headed to this beautiful plaza that I really liked. It's called Plaza San Fernando and it's one of my favorite squares in the city. There's a lot of good restaurants here as well so you know you have a lot of options in terms of food. So afterwards I headed to the Mommy Museum and Guanajuato is very well known for that. It was kind of creepy at first, I'm gonna be honest, but it was actually a very interesting experience. So most of these mummies were interred during a cholera outbreak in 1833 and many of the mummies were people who were victims of the cholera epidemic and to help control the spread of the disease the bodies were buried immediately and tragically some of the people were actually buried alive. So after that I headed to the historic center once again because I wanted to go to El Monumento al Pipila which has one of the best views of the city. So in order to get there you want to go behind the Teatro Juarez and you will take the funicular and you can buy that ticket either just to go up or up and down. I suggest only ticket to go up because you can go down just walking and I feel like you will have a very nice view. But if you don't want to go down walking, you can just take the funicular round trip. I feel like this is the best view of the city. I suggest that you go to a bar that is right next to the Monumento al Pipila and it's called Bar La Terraza Encantada. And you can just chill there and enjoy all the beautiful view of Guanajuato. Alright guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed my short video about Guanajuato City. As you can see, this city is very beautiful and it has a lot of things to offer. It's definitely one of the most popular tourist destinations in Mexico and right now it's a very beautiful time to come because there's not that many people because believe me, usually this city is packed with tourists. Especially during the Festival de Cervantino, which is one of the biggest art festivals in Mexico. The hotels right now are cheaper than normally because tourism is slower. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching till the end. And well, I will see you guys on my next video. Uh, take care and stay healthy.